As we have reviewed literature over the last several years, we have found that people have published data on individual quality measures for surgery in early stage lung cancer. However, this has been done in a very fractured fashion with essentially authors looking at one individual quality parameter in a paper. No one has previously looked at a number of quality parameters for surgery in early stage lung cancer, all put together and collated as one combined bundle of quality measures. This was a gap that we wanted to address with our paper. For this particular analysis, we studied the National Cancer Database, which I think is the largest repository of cancer patients available anywhere in the country at this point in time. About 70% of all new cancer diagnoses in the country are now reported and recorded in the National Cancer Database. We looked at uh, patients who had received an operation for lung cancer between 2004 and 2013 and we chose four quality measures from a review of literature as well as uh, recommendations by major national bodies. These were performing an anatomic resection which we defined as either an, a lobectomy or a segmentectomy if the tumor was less than two centimeters in size, uh, performing an operation within eight weeks of diagnosis, achieving negative resection margins, and finally sampling 10 or more lymph nodes at the time of the resection. So we chose to study these four parameters as we thought that these were the most impactful on short and long-term outcomes after surgery. We essentially found that for several of these parameters, adherence rates varied from a very respectable 78 or to 80 percent up to 97 percent, which is an excellent adherence rate. However, for the variable of 10 or more lymph nodes, the adherence rates nationally were just over 30 percent, which I think is an extremely low number. So our findings were, uh, I would say, expected in terms of direction. We thought that we would have some degrees of gap in adherence to these quality measures. However, the severity of the gap was something that we had not entirely expected. We also showed that with every successive quality measure achieved in lung cancer resection, resection surgery, the overall long-term survival improves. And this was something that we found both in univariate and multivariate analyses. Thus, it's an independent association of improved long-term survival. Thus, we would recommend that institutions at a local level and surgeons also at a local level pay careful attention to meeting these quality measures that we have described. In addition, the quality measures that we chose were things that were available from the National Cancer Database. There are at least one or two other important quality measures for which information is not available in the data set that we utilized. These would include a rigorous preoperative assessment of the clinical stage of disease using a CT and a PET scan, and if needed, to perform pathologic assessment with, an either, with either an endobronchial ultrasound or mediastinoscopy prior to resection. So this would be one additional quality measure to be utilized. And finally, a rigorous preoperative physiologic testing, whereby one performs adequate and accurate cardiopulmonary assessment before resection. So these would be the four to five things which I think should be monitored at local level and possibly in a, in a, at, at a national forum too. Based upon our own work, we have started an effort to combine local clinical data that we have for data that is missing from the National Cancer Database in an effort to refine this particular analysis. In addition, at our own institution, we have started an effort in the form of a pilot program to address some gaps that we have identified based upon these quality measures. And these gaps are in one, lymph node counts that we are achieving with lung cancer resection, and two, the delay between diagnosis and care for lung cancer patients. 